For the past 500 years, in addition to moving ourselves about the globe, humans have caused a massive exchange of biology, transferring thousands of viruses, fungi, plants and animals to new locations. These exchanges have affected every ecosystem on Earth. Many of the introduced species are harmless for native biota. Some, however, find themselves without predators and with an extreme advantage over endemic species in these new locations. I'm worried about a specific biological invasion. Limnopena fortunae, known as the golden mussel, is an Asian bivalve brought to South America in ballast water of ships in the early 90s. From Buenos Aires, by natural means or with the help of humans, it spread fast all the way to the wetlands of South America, leaving a trail of devastation behind it. Limnopena fortunae grow in high densities invaded areas. It can reach densities as high as 240,000 muscles per meter square industrial facilities, leading to millions in economic losses every year due to the clogs of pipelines of power plants and water treatment industries. But I believe the most dangerous impacts are for the freshwater biodiversity in South America. Limnopena fortunae is a new element in some fish diet, like the armado. Increases in 20% in fish population seems to be related to the presence of the golden mussel in a fish menu. And these fish act as vectors, transferring larvae of mussels to new places as they are swimming along. The golden mussel is a filter feeder, and its high densities in invaded areas, filtering the water to feed, make it more transparent, so more sunlight can penetrate in the water. This phenomenon is related to the increase in toxic algae blooms, oxygen deprivation, and massive fish deaths. It's very bad. In fact, ecologists report that locations invaded by the golden mussel become more homogeneous over time, which in biology is bad, because it means less diversity. And the biodiversity is the life support system of our planet. We depend on it for the food we eat, for clean air and water. I've been studying this mussel for a while now, and it seems to me that this tremendous ability it has to inhabit such challenging environments is related to its genetics. So by sequencing its genome, I'm working to identify the mussel's weaknesses and strengths to find a way to control it. For example, the mussel secretes a structure called byssus. There are those filaments it uses to fix itself in any substrate. The byssus is formed by different proteins, and a group of them are called food proteins which are responsible for the adhesion properties of the byssus. So what if I could silence a food protein gene and make the muscle unable to express it? They wouldn't be able to produce an adhesive byssus because the gene that encodes food proteins would be silent. Without an adhesive byssus, they wouldn't be able to attach and they would not endure in the wild. Their survival strategy would be over. Such knockout muscles would never exist in nature because of the big evolutionary disadvantage this characteristic confers to the species. But they can happen if we design a genetic therapy for it in a lab. A similar approach has been used to fight disease transmitting mosquitoes in Brazil. Aedes aegypti has been genetically modified to annihilate wild mosquitoes and to reduce the spread of dengue fever. Until now, all attempts to control golden muscles infestation in South America have failed. Chlorine, although ineffective, it is still used, which poses big hazard for non-target species in the environment. Educational campaigns to avoid human transferring of muscles to new locations have not been as effective as we could hope. Genomic understanding followed by a biotechnological approach might be the only way to solve this problem in the wild, because it will allow us to create a very specific solution which will target only golden muscles. Although risk assessment studies are critical before applying such approach in the wild, a gene therapy might be the best option to annihilate specific invasive golden mussel populations in locations where the invasions are new and where the golden mussel has not completely settled yet. One of such locations is the Amazon. If we draw a straight line, the golden mussel is about 150 kilometers distant from Telespiris the first river in the Amazon River Basin. We don't want it to get there. Preserving biodiversity is not only a matter of living in a more colorful world, it's also a matter of survival. Recent research has shown that the chain of events caused by the decrease in biodiversity is leading to less availability of food and energy, which are huge concerns in a world of an ever-increasing population. 
and as shown by the golden muscle, invasive species are a huge part of this problem. Gene therapy can be a powerful tool for the benefit of biodiversity conservation. Thank you. <laughs>